All right, I'm on the riverfront area down in Paducah, Kentucky. This bunch of murals on the walls here. You'll see as much as I can. Of course, right through here is the river again. But we'll take a look at these murals. Let's see, here's a also a plaque here. William Clark, 1770 to 1838. A soldier, explorer, superintendent of Indian Affairs, governor of Missouri Territory, best known for Lewis and Clark. Voyage of Discovery up the Missouri River in 1804. William got the title to 37,000 acres, site of Paducah on October 13th, 1827, from the Kentucky courts. Okay, I guess he's the founder. Oh, there's all kinds of plaques to read here. 1884, Robert Davis recalled that the first building was uh, a rounded a log cabin about 16 feet square, erected by the Poor Brothers. Here's a map of Paducah in 1873. You can see downtown was pretty established by then. Some of those buildings are probably still here. Here's a chart here that tells what everything is. Some, some churches here. Very nice murals, very right? good quality. I'm sure it was the center of trade back in the day. Paducah's river industry was the city's lifeblood. Steamboats and tobacco were critical to the area's economy in the late 1880s. Battle of Paducah. Civil War here. Let's see, Union General U.S. Grant occupied Paducah on September 6, 1861, building a pontoon bridge across the Ohio River to the Illinois shore. Fort Anderson was built and named after a Kentuckian and Fort Sumner commander, Major Robert Anderson. I think I visited that fort when I was here before. Uh, the August 8th Emancipation Celebration is held annually in the Stuart Nelson Park. Nelson was a graduate of Lincoln High School, commissioned officer in World War I. President of several major universities, he marched with Gandhi in India and with Dr. King in Alabama. Oh, this market. This is, I, I saw that down the street, so I'm hoping it opens today. General William Clark, the founder of Paducah, Designated Second Street area as a location for public affairs. The original name for Second Street was Market, reflecting the use of uh, use as a trading center. The original Market House was built of logs in 1836. A larger brick building was constructed on this site in 1850 and was used as a hospital during the Civil War. The present present 1905 Market House was designed by William somebody and built by R. W. Got a drawing for $25,000. 1953, the building was converted to a cultural center. So I don't know if it's a market now or not. This building served as a fire station. 17th and Broadway.
Okay, another famous son. This horse drinking fountain was presented to the city of Paducah in 1907 by the National Humane Society. And there's something about this guy here. Alvin William Barkley, 1877 to 1956, elected McCracken County Attorney Judge, U.S. Representative, U.S. Senator. Served uh, Harry Truman as Vice President, was known as the Veep. Okay, turn you off for a second till I move to the next area. Okay. Illinois Central Railroad Shops, located on Kentucky Avenue and Paducah, were built 1827 for eight million dollars, six million dollars. At the peak, 1,400 workers were employed in this one of the world's largest steam locomotive repair shops. In the early 1940s, Paducah of McCracken County was known as the strawberry capital of the world. All right, strawberry fields forever. That's a head of flood. While the river was uh, usually, has been unusually Paducah's best friend, floodwaters turned it into a community enemy in 1884, 1913, and again in 1937. The area's most devastating event of the 20th century was the flood of 1937 when 90% of Paducah was covered with floodwaters. Piggly Wiggly. This scene shows Broadway, Paducah's Main Street in the 1940s when downtown area was the center of the community's retail businesses and entertainment services. Through the Depression, a struggling telephone industry crept along with advancing technology in 1940 progress stopped most personnel material used to win World War II. Then the local television became outdated. In 1945, the boys came home and baby boom started. The centerpiece of this mural is the February 1948 cover of Enthusiast magazine featuring officers David Drew and Julian Pryor Slaughter on their Harleys flanking the statue of Chief Paduke. And I think this mural Ralph, is honoring this wall. Welcome to Paducah, wall to wall, portraits of our past. As you can see, it's clear over there, but it's getting cloudy over here on this side. So I think we're going to be in rain here in the next couple hours. Well, as we head back to our starting point, I'll walk on this side of the wall. Nice view of the river here, and there's a barge coming down the river. I heard these barges are having trouble getting down the Mississippi because it's gotten so low. I'm not sure. Back to Ohio, the Ohio, I think this is the Ohio. Pretty sure this is the Ohio. This looks about normal. So maybe the Ohio's okay. I know rivers in Indiana seems like they were kind of low. Fall Bash and Erie were both low. Maybe they're doing better upriver. But a lot of cargo is still moving on the river. Uh, 
Okay, so I'm about doing it. selfies down there, looks like. Getting back to our starting point here. I'm going to crawl across the road and go down the other side.